Steve Spurrier, who I love, coach of the South Carolina Gamecocks, um, former coach of the uh, Florida Gators, Washington Redskins, Heisman Trophy winner at Florida. Steve Spurrier. All around awesome guy. Yeah, I, I always love Steve Spurrier because he's refreshingly honest and he doesn't deal in coach speak, which you're about to see. Spurrier once at the end of a game where I think he was still with Florida, it's possible he was with South Carolina, and my memory may be messing with me. But anyway, his kicker, either a Florida or South Carolina kicker, beats either, I think it was, it was Florida, beats Florida State, it was South Carolina to beat Florida. Uh, 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 miss, excuse me, I've got it, this makes it an even better story. Either the Florida State kicker misses a kick to win the game, like a 16-14 game, kick goes right, Florida wins, or it was Florida's kicker against South Carolina, kick goes wide, and Spurrier wins. Either way, missed field goal, end of the game, and Spurrier wins. Comes off the field, the sideline reporter comes up to him and says, you know, uh, you know, coach, you guys really put pressure on the quarterback. Do you think that was the key to the game? And he goes, no, the key to the game, the kid just missed the field goal. That's the key to the game. He hits that kick, we lose. And like, they don't say that. Refreshingly honest. It was great. He's like, no, no, the key to the game, kid just missed a 39-yard field goal, we win. That was it. Um, so I love Steve Spurrier. I always have. Um, he made fun of Jim Hazlitt, who's now uh, ironically a Redskin assistant when he was, uh, Hazlitt was the Saints coach and Spurrier gets hired to be the Redskin coach and they, they ask whether being an NFL coach will cut into his golf game. Spurrier loves to play golf in the off season in the NFL. I could hardly tell with his visor. <laughs> the NFL head coaches, they like work 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. And Spurrier was like, I don't know, because Hazlitt was notorious for like never leaving the office. And he was like, that guy uh, down in uh, New Orleans, Hazlitt, he never leaves the office. And what'd they go, two and 14? <laughs> so. I just love him. And then it turned out, of course, Spurrier was horrible in the NFL. But that, nonetheless, was an amusing story. So he's now at South Carolina. And apparently there's a reporter named Ron Morris, works for the state newspaper. That's the main paper in Columbia, sort of the paper of record in South Carolina. And uh, this guy covers the Gamecocks, I assume, for the state, Ron Morris. But Ron Morris has been writing what Spurrier perceives to be negative articles about the Gamecock program, including an allegation that Spurrier tried to steal a recruit away from the South Carolina basketball team. Bruce Ellington. Year. Bruce Ellington, which Spurrier denies, and which uh, Darren Horn, the, the basketball coach at South Carolina, also denies. But he's got this story uh, that uh, Bruce, Ron Morris did. That's the story, story that Spurrier uh, hates the most from this guy, Ron Morris. Um, so then he goes into a diatribe in front of the whole media, like his press conference. Everybody's there, including Ron Morris. And he says, hey, look, 26 years, I've had a problem with two reporters. One guy back in the mid-90s at Florida, and this guy, he won't even say the guy's name. He just points to him because the guy's right he, there. He points and looks in his direction. Yeah, the guy's right there in the front row. He's like, I have a problem with this guy, he says, who tell lies about the program. This negative guy starts off. He's been weighing on my chest today. We got a negative guy over here, and he points to him, trying to hurt our football program. Then he goes into the story about the, the deal with the basketball team, which, which he denies, says it's completely untrue. Never happened in 26 years. And then he announces that this is it. If he's not going to hold any more press conferences as long as this guy is in the room. Here's Steve Spurrier prancing around like a caged animal. And I've learned that uh, since he sits in on all these meetings, it's basically I'm helping him uh, to contribute writing negative stuff about our football program. Simple as that. So I'm not gonna talk when he's in here. That's my right as a head coach. I don't have to talk to him, and I don't have to talk to him when he's in here. So what we're gonna do, all you TV guys, I'm going to do a personal interview with you in this other room. And the writers that are still left in here, I'll come back here and talk with you right at that. We'll do individual interviews with all you TV guys, okay? Everybody, four days, sorry. Right. Yeah. And uh, what's, what room we got? Uh, Media room. Media room, okay. Yeah, bring your cameras on down there. Let's do some one-on-one, -on -one. okay? Okay, Glenn? So Spurrier's like, all right, man, so TV guys, let's go over here. One-on-one -on -one interviews, there's no way this works. No way it lasts, but he did humiliate Ron Morris. Um, and now I totally want to read that story because I want to know if that story is true. And I want to now I want to read some Ron Morris stories and see if he really sounds like a guy out to get Steve Spurrier. And we'll put it up on our Facebook page. Yeah, there you go. Hey, we'll do that. Uh, thank you, boys. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. Hi, this is Ben Mankiewicz along with Rookie Mankiewicz. And Rookie has an important message for you. Subscribe to TYT Sports.